We have officially made it to Brainerd. About to go in. Yeah, should be already. So let's get in there and unload. This will be home for the next three days. We're setting up the course right now. Uh, we're gonna start there. And the course runs runs the whole whole parking lot here. Pretty excited. Uh, funny story, about three years ago, um, I actually blew up an engine out here. So I'm excited that we finally have this car out here today and see what we can do with it. This car is fully set up. Um, all the suspension's been done. So I'm really excited to see what it'll do and Gonna have to pick up so many cones today. Things are about to happen. It might rain, and that's gonna suck. Oh, you can't see anything. It's raining. <laughs> ah, my umbrella! No! <laughs> and it's officially raining out. And your kids are killing it like usual. Today's the day for big track stuff. I had to uh, I had to fix the power steering line in the car today. Uh, we're gonna head out shortly. We're waiting for this group to finish up. I'm probably gonna go with an instructor first. Cause I've never been on this track and I need to learn it. Um, overall the car is doing good. Everything's solid, everything's bolted down. Uh, we didn't have any issues yesterday, so we're gonna give it a go. Just got off the big course and we had some issues. Came into the first turn after some hot laps and the whole wheel locked up, flat spotted a bunch of it. The brake caliper actually ripped out of the hole, so I'm gonna have to get 
some kind of bolt so we can get back on track. It has been a very stressful day. Put the wheels back on. I ended up having to tap through the hub and then re-tap the caliper itself with a half inch US bolt because that was the closest thing I could get to actually fit bolts in there. So now we're gonna head out and I'll remember to put the GoPro on the side of the car this time. things you see at Proving Grounds while you're staying at a hotel. Just a GTR. That's a wrap on Proving Grounds. How did we do? So day one, we did 30 out of 160 drivers. We yielded second place in the Unlimited class. I was placed in Unlimited because the car's interior is currently stripped out, no carpet, 
that'll get you bumped into Unlimited. I don't want to be there because it's kind of unfair. There's not a whole lot of cars in that class. We did 32.038, just under two seconds slower than fastest driver of the day. In autocross, that is a lot of time, but you have to remember this car is a shell four weeks ago. Day two, we did 25th out of 160 drivers, a 32.316, just under two and a half seconds slower than the fastest driver that day. Along with along with the second day of, of Proving Grounds, we had brake failure on the big track, which is kind of frightening because the same day a Corvette actually got put into the wall. I'm actually just going to go ahead, replace that caliper, get rid of it, get a new one in. It's honestly not much more expensive just to get a whole new caliper versus trying to repair that one. I'd rather be safe than, than sorry. We also did have an issue with the power steering. I replaced the line, but it it didn't fix the issue. We're still having power steering issues. First turn you go into, it, it just kind of fights itself and you're literally manhandling the car the whole entire time. Day three, we had a wheel bearing failure and uh, kinda, it kind of cut the day shorter than it should have been. The wheel bearing failure was right before the standing start shootout. I didn't want to do the standing start shootout just because having a bad wheel bearing is dangerous on track. I ran twice. Um, that's how I got down to the 106. It, it, it was a little scary. It sounded like the wheel was ready to fall off the car. More time on track, getting the line down, being more confident. Uh, I could have got down to a 102, but with the bad wheel bearing, I wasn't going to risk it. Uh, if you jack the car up and you grab that rear wheel, it, it, it's got like an inch of play. I got a ton of track time out on the big track. That's the first time I've ever been on the big track. I can't wait to go back, hopefully make it back in September. It's going to sound really bad, but that was 14, almost 15 seconds slower than the fastest time of the day. That was a 1,000 horsepower Viper, a fully prepped track Corvette. So compared to those cars, I mean, this car, all said and done, we're at a budget of $3,800. It's, that's so cheap. You can't even buy a Miata for that price. I'm really happy with how everything turned out. I've got a couple things to fix. A couple things I want to change immediately, such as the exhaust because it sounds like an NA Neon and I hate it. But overall, the weekend went great. We made it back safely. I can't wait to go back in September. Hopefully I can get off. Um, but thanks for watching guys. If you haven't seen all the other videos, please go back, give them a like, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.